Iga Sviantec versus Jessica Pagula is the final of the WTA Finals of 2023. And both players have been super impressive to get to the final. Pagula entered the tournament as the number five seed and will take on Rabakina in the first group stage match. And after going down early in the match, he came back to win 7-5-6-2. In her second match, she would take on Sakari, who had only just gotten into the finals because of Mukova withdrawing. And again, super impressive getting through in straights, 6-3-6-2. In her final group stage match, she would take on Sabalenka, the world number one. And again, Again, in tough conditions, she would get through in straights, 6-4, 6-3, to top the group. In the semi-finals, Pagula would take on the number three seed, Goff, who had just scraped through at the very end to get to this semi-final. And in very harsh conditions, Pagula stood strong, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-1, to advance to the final. Beyonce entered the tournament as the number two seed, and would take on Von Drusova in her first match. And after a close first set, would get through in straights, 7-6, 6-6, love. In her second match, she'd take on Coco Goff. And after a very good first set, She'd fight to win in the second, 6-love, 7-5. In her final match, she'd take on Jabur in very difficult conditions. But there's no problem for Sviantek getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-2, to top her group. In the semifinals, Sviantek would take on the number one, Sabalenka, a rematch of what we saw this time last year in the semifinal stage. But the result was totally different, with Sviantek demolishing Sabalenka, 6-3, 6-2, to advance to the final. These two have played eight times before, with Sviantek leading the head-to-head, 5-3. -head, However, Pagula has won... Two of their last three matches, including a semi-final in Montreal where Pagula went on to win the title after beating Sviantek in a three-setter. If Pagula's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive. She's been so solid this week, probably the most solid player of the entire tournament in such rough conditions. She needs to keep being solid, but also be aggressive because we know how good defense Sviantek has as well. If Sviantek's going to win this one, she needs to push Pagula around and maybe come to the net a little bit as well and mix it up because the last couple of times they've played, Pagula's starting to understand how to beat Sviantek, so Sviantek might have to do some element of surprise and come to the net, do something a little different to get the win. What a great matchup. The two players that haven't lost a match, they haven't lost a set for the entire week. It's the perfect final, but I think Sviantek's going to get it. She's got to get it to get to world number one as well, so there's extra stakes to this one for Iga Sviantek. Let me know down in the comments below who is going to win the final match of the season.